hello guys today we'll analyze one stock from the tata group and as you can see the name of this stock is tata chemicals now i'm sure that many of you know many things about this company and even many of you might be having this stock in your portfolio but let us study this company in detail to have the complete understanding so the company has divided its product into major two segments which are basic chemistry and the specialty chemistry we can see that it is the third largest soda ash producer globally now what is soda ash soda ash is also known as washing soda or sodium carbonate and it has variety of uses it is also asia's largest salt works now in this product category i think 90 to 95 percent of us are the user of this company yes we all use tata salt they are present across four continents and have 13 manufacturing plants across the globe now these are the categories under which products of tata chemicals are being used they include agriculture animal nutrition chemicals construction and even in food and nutrition they use the product gossens pro which is mainly focused on the infant diet for poultry nutrition they have a brand alka carb and if you want to know more about the best stocks in the tire sector you can watch my video here treadsill is a brand which is focused on silica which is used to strengthen rubber in tires for oral care cosmetics paint sinks adhesives soaps and detergent they have a brand known as treadsill focusing on that aspect for pharmaceutical safety and environment they have a brand media carb textiles and leather for immunity and gut health also they have brand forsens and for lithium iron and dry cell and other batteries they have brand inspirico here we can see the further bifurcation here top four are the basic chemistry products including dense soda ash light soda ash, soda car which is another material used by the leading biscuit manufacturers allied chemicals nano zinc oxide is mainly used in the cosmetics industry Medicarb, Elka Carb, Technical Grade and also in the construction field Tata Cement is used. Let us have a look at the journey of Tata Chemicals so far. So in 2017 there was divestment of urea business. Another divestment in the year 2018 of fertilizer business. Now Relis India is focused on that business which is another subsidiary of Tata Chemicals. Also in 2018 they acquired silica plant for HDS. Now this was a great move by the company because the usage now hds is highly dispersible silica and it is expected that the usage of highly dispersible silica is expected to increase with time where more silica could be used in the tires of ev in fy19 there was investment approval for the mitapur operations and in fy20 they completed the demerger of consumer product business which is now the tata consumer products and the another business is tata chemicals which is solely focused on chemistry solutions so looking at the fundamentals of the stock we can see that the market cap of the company is around 23000 crores so it is completely a mid cap company the current price of the stock is 911 rupees while the book value of the stock is rupees 561 so we can see here there's not much difference in the book value and the current price because of which price to book value ratio is just 1.62 but industry price to book value ratio is 4.23 so here looking at just book value ratio we can see that company is undervalued than the sector the dividend yield of the stock is around 1.10 percent which is good and the face value is rupees 10 but stock has also generated 202% returns in last one year. Now these returns are massive. The debt to equity ratio of the company is 0.49. So company has some amount of debt. But the PE ratio of the stock is around 43. While the industry PE ratio is approx 27. So PE ratio of the stock is more than the industry. So looking at this part we can say that stock of Tata Chemicals is trading at a quite premium valuation than the industry return on capital employed is 4.52 percentage and return on equity is just 1.73 percentage so out of all these parameters 
so return ratios are not that much impressive and they are very low but if we have a look at the revenue segmentation we can see that 75 percent of their revenue comes from basic chemicals which includes soda ash which contributes to 56 percent of the revenue sodium bicarbonate to 4 percent of the revenue salt 11.5 percent of the revenue now tata chemicals actually produces or manufactures the salt but it is sold by tata consumer products Tata Cement has acquired 4% market share in Gujarat. Specialty chemicals contribute to 25% of the total revenue where Agro Science contributes to 16.5%. Nutritional Sciences and Material Sciences also contribute to further revenue. And even Energy Sciences which includes Lithium Ion Cells which are going to become one of the critical component in the batteries of electronic vehicles. Now guys one huge benefit of investing in companies like Tata Chemicals is that you are not investing in only one business but we are investing in multiple businesses by investing in just a single stock. Earlier we saw that they acquired companies in silica they have Rallis india which is focused on crop science subsidiary in kenya focusing on soda ash and now they have such wide range of products and in future also they might acquire certain small companies in different field if we compare tata chemicals with its peers in chemical industry we can see names like Pedalite Industries, SRF, Arthi Industries, Deepak Nitrate. Now, the market cap is at fifth for Tata Chemicals. But if we have a look at the dividend deal, it is best for Tata Chemicals above 1%. Even the net profit and sales per quarter are huge for Tata Chemicals. Change in quarterly profit is maximum for Tata Chemicals. So we, now this percentage is so high because in the same quarter of previous year Tata Chemicals did not perform so well because of which it is showing as massive improvement. Now the quarterly sales we can see here that sales only improved by this much percentage approx 27 but there was a massive jump in the quarterly profit. But returns ratios are lacking here we can see that every company in the industry have decent returns ratios we can see 29 for pedalite 18 13 39 but for tata chemicals it is just 5 percent approx so it would be great if tata chemicals is able to improve these returns ratios in the future now guys we cannot directly compare the performance or the sales of the company from the previous periods because there is a demerger in the company because of which sales would be affected but important point here is if we see that sales in the last two or three years they have almost remained constant now the company if it is able to improve the sales from this period it would be positive for the company if we have a look at the operating profit they have been decent and even the operating profit margin approx 15 or 16 percent 19 percent in 2020 now eps of this share have reduced with time but in this particular year fy21 it is around rupees 10 this 274 is due to the adjustment of the past Balance sheet of the company looks quite promising and the reason is that the reserves have grown rapidly especially in the last two or three years and it is around 14,000 crores at present year 2021 and even company has taken initiative to reduce its long term borrowings we can see here in FY21 it has reduced to 6,900 which were earlier 7,700 in previous year. Fixed assets are increasing another positive about the company. Having a look at the shareholding pattern guys just see the pattern in promoters holding it was around 30% in 2018 and it is around 38% in June 2021. So this increase in stake by the Tata Sons is the most encouraging factor about the company. Even foreign institutions have increased their shareholding and they are around 13% in the present quarter. Domestic institutions however have reduced their shareholding with time and but they also hold a 20% stake in the company which is large and government also have a stake which is around 0.03% public has 30% approx Tata Chemicals has also been rating as A1 plus by the Crisel which is another factor building trust over the company Having a look at their India operations then the products like soda ash, bicarb, salt, marine chemicals, cement are produced in Gujarat Specialty silica is manufactured in Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and for Rallis India it is in Maharashtra and Gujarat which is related to crop care, crop production, seeds etc. 
If we have a look at their international operations, we can see that basic chemistry products are in Asia as well as the specialty chemistry. For North America, there are only basic chemistry. For Europe, also basic chemistry products like heavy soda ash, sodium bicarbonate. Magadi, which is the Magadi Soda Company in Kenya, is focused on producing soda ash products. And for South Africa, they have basic chemistry products like high purity soda ash, crush refined soda. So guys, this is the chart of Tata Chemicals on a one day time frame. Now I can find one good support for this stock at the level of 800 and currently stock is trading above its 50 days moving average. Also, we can see in the month of September stock tested this support and then went upwards. Currently stock is trading around the level of 900. So if someone wants to make a fresh entry in this stock, they can wait for the stock to come at this level of 800 if there is some correction in the stock in future. But if someone wants to make an entry at an upper level, then they can also think of investing at the level of 830 and they can place an SL below the level of 800. So guys, if you think I missed any important point about this company, you can let me know in the comment section. Also, if you want me to cover any specific stock and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you.